five. The grand finals here for the Carnage Cottomar Pro League. And again, game number two. Already a fun start here. As I know you're still loading in, Micey, but as soon as you join, you know what I'm talking about. We got, uh, we got some heroes that we usually don't see because they're banned, but ends up getting both of them, actually. As a result of how the banning stage went, it was actually uh, Ophelia into Rhapsody, Drunken Master into Magmus were the band. So kind of both playing with one another in terms of, well, one of us is going to get Kronos, the other's going to get Puppet Master. And you see what happens here. Yeah, uh, they definitely were banning out the niche heroes. Magmus is really taken off in the scene. He's such a, such a powerful hero. can be played in any role. So, we, okay, Kronos Kraken. Yeah, those are... Definitely synergize well. I can't believe uh, they give Sync uh, Kronos. Yeah. I think yeah. Keizu really made a name for that hero initially. Yeah. It's, I mean, you talk to any of these captains nowadays, obviously Kronos, and especially Flensmeister. You know, Flensmeister has that kind of effect on Kronos right now. He's been very open that he's not, he, this hero needs to be changed and everything, but, you know, if they have the chance to pick him up, though, they'll pick him up because, again, he's just so god here exactly. right now. They're here so, win, so Puppet Master does very, very well against heroes like Kraken and Kronos and Laning Phase. can really lock them down. However, uh, come mid-game and late-game, they can just jump Puppet Master, basically regardless of Puppet Master's farm, and just burn him. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what kind of what their heroes do. They're really counter hard to carry. Uh, I wonder if... BM so BMG wants to keep the possibility of manning up with their Puppet Master, which means that Sync can't like draft some super greedy jungles hero or something. That's, uh, say, with that rally pickup, that's what you're getting at? Yeah, and just the fact that they have, I mean, just currently they have Puppet Master Empath Rally, uh, you know, they can really land that any, anywhere. Yeah. Not really answers given. I mean, similar situation for Sync, obviously, Kraken and Torture especially, very versatile heroes. So with that said, landing a Kraken is, like, or dual landing a Kraken is not the best thing in the world. Uh, it's It's doable. But I would think that Sync's wanting to look at a jungle hero, perhaps Tempest here, and then run um, a dual lane bottom and get like a free farm on a, uh, some carry hero. Yeah. If they do that though, BMG may man up and go long lane. Puppet Master can definitely do that, even though he is the hard carry. <laughs> Swift Blade into Kronos, or Swift Blade into Wretched Hack, excuse me, wow. uh, being banned out so far, so. Well, we see uh, again, Swift Blade. We see a lot of him, but I mean, is, is Swift Blade makes sense because Sync's one that banned the Swift Blade here, and you know, would would BMG have actually picked up Swift Blade with this lineup? Uh, not, yeah, not too sure. They, you know, of course they do a run in a suicide, so it is an option. They they yeah. could pick it up. I'm just not sure if it'd be like the most amazing pick. I don't really understand the wretched Hag ban. Yes, Hag is very very good with Sync's heroes, but they wouldn't pick that because they couldn't land it effectively. You don't think so, yeah. I mean, they would have to run Tort, Crack in middle, and then, like, Solo Hag bottom. Not the worst thing in the world, but I think they do have better options. You see Tundra, Chipper also coming out from Sync. Uh, Chipper actually had an interesting stat. I've uh, <laughs> been so caught up in the game. Uh, Quincy doing a great job of gathering these. Chipper is actually the highest win percentage hero in all of Hauntour. Now, or I mean, what, what, this is an hunter. Carnage and Caldivore is what I meant to say. It's not 100%. Um, it, it wasn't 100%. It was 80%. He went four out of his five games. <laughs> so, and you can guess who played him. Yeah, BMG. Yeah, you know, it was Jonas. Jonas. So, so. so, you know, is that stat really mean the most? <laughs> not though? really. Because yeah, you have BMG playing it. That's, yeah, you guess Rhapsody was second highest, but that actually makes a I lot mean, more sense. Yeah. I think we have, like, pe heroes like Riffwalker that are up there, just because these top tier teams play them. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, the top five was Chipper, Rhapsody, Wretched Hag, Pharaoh, and Parasite. Top okay. five win percentage. All those make sense to me except Parasite, to be honest. Yeah. Parasite just doesn't seem so strong to me anyways. But, um, so there's Okay, that that is weird. I mean, you can duel in a Slither, yeah, but that's looking like they're going to go to Torque Crack in middle, probably. i just not a fan of that. It could be a support Slither. I've seen that before. No, but but you would still have to do the the yeah. crack and duel lane. That's true. Okay, that's still would have to. Yeah. Or I just want the crack lane. Try lane. The try lane torture to... and whoever. <laughs> you could. I. You could. <laughs> Maybe they are drafting those. I mean, 
You can't put it out of the question. You really cannot. Uh, you, we'll have to see what BMG picks. If BMG does do something super greedy, they they could man up. It's Tempest. possible. Tempest. See, I I feel like Sync should have chose Tempest. Uh, this makes so much sense with their heroes. Kraken and Kronos do do pretty good against Tempest, though, so I, I don't think it's a huge deal that BMG has that hero. Yeah. I think they more more chose it uh, kind of scared of Sync's possibility with it. Okay. Yeah, that's what when you said, yeah, I look at this Legion lineup, it's like Kronos, as you said, Kronos and Kraken, excellent heroes against the Tempest, so. Kind of wonder, but like, that makes sense though, if they're keeping it away, then that's a good draft there. Um, I'm not sure if you can do anything about this, you probably can't. What's that? But there's there's an LA caster that didn't get in the game, and there's a bunch of like, uh, Latin people that don't really watch Honkast, because, you know, it's not in their language. Oh, uh, you, uh, what's I'm his not, name? Send it um, to me. I just okay. I, I, I talked to chat. Okay. Or is that? I think it's fine. Okay. No. Yeah. I can actually give him access. Then I, I haven't heard awesome. of him, but I assume if multiple people are telling you, then why not? Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll give him access right here. So if, if he is listening, or if you can respond to them, I guess then let him know that he should have access now. So there you go. Anyways. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Cause I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just know there's a lot of uh, you know. No. Yeah. Usually, uh, Chrono, uh, Chronos is actually Chronos F. I believe is his name. He he's usually uh, he's a Latin American caster too, and he's usually, I don't think he's around today though. So, but oh, it's good as somebody else is around. So. Yep. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, well, so keep it the force. So yeah, it does make absolute sense. You know, he's going to be jungling. And he is a counter to Tempest, you know, as we see, saw back in the day. Mm -hmm. Tempest versus Keeper of the Forest, like, that was basically every single game. Yeah, that's, thanks for bringing up those memories. Ugh. Okay, also, Keeper of the Forest, look, look at how much physical damage is on Hellborn's side. Puppet Master Rally, Madman, that's going to really negate a lot of the, that damage. Mm -hmm. That really that really begs the question, why did they pick Madman as a suicide? He is a very good suicide, I think, but... How how is he gonna fare mid game? I think he's gonna get just stomped on. Yeah. Well, I mean, what other suicide hero that really stands out to you in that case? Oh There's gosh, a lot of other remember. ones are physical presence too. So, uh, you know, that's a good question. Um, possibly Pharaoh. Is yeah. On the board. But, I mean, to be completely honest, Chipper is on the board. I don't really... No, he was banned. Or was he? Oh, he was. Oh, he was. no, he was I banned the first he game. He was banned. He was banned. This game. I, I, was, I really wasn't paying attention to what possibilities they had. I just, I'm just disagreeing yeah. with the madman. No, it's, it's, uh, that's a good point. That's uh, got me thinking though. I was like trying to sit there, maybe yeah. like electrician, I, I maybe. Just, I, guess, but. I do suppose Madman does have a lot of ma magic damage. To be honest. I'm yeah, just, that's true. Come later game, he is all, all about the Oz hacks. Yeah, it's Anyways. going to be a deal. Is what, so is the ultimate point. Yeah. Yeah. So both teams do have push presence. Um, however, not too much. Actually, um, I guess. Sync has a fairly good counter push, fairly good defense they can put up. Uh, Hellborn, not so much. N neither team, tons of counter push. So I expect to see a lot of just split pushing, just on opposite, like tons of tower go towers going down, but not too much defense. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Yeah. I think Puppet Master is going to have a really hard time, though, this game. He's just going to get locked down. There's a and lot of lockdown. <laughs> so much lockdown. Oh my god. <laughs> Even with he's the shrunken, it's like. Exactly, and he's forced to go shrunken because of uh, Keeper. And he's also. Yeah, okay. so here's the thing, like, yes, Shrunken's very good at, against Keeper because you just pop it and you get out of it, right? But that also forces you to, to wait with the Shrunken head. You can't initially pop it, you know, dodge all the slither stuff and torch stuns and stuff, because you have to wait. So that is something to keep in mind. It's not like an absolute hard counter. Yeah, Yeah, it's, Matt, you're right. I mean, you, that, that's, you got to give credit to Sync, because, yeah, Madman's kind of... Stalking around right here, harassing, but got to credit for their draft. How I mean, they knew that they were giving up Puppet Master with the Chronos first pick, and but they drafted very well against it. Yeah, this is not a strong Puppet Master game. Yep, it's almost like they intentionally gave him that option. There I go. Okay, indeed, indeed. So lanes are kind of coming about here. So, so with that said, you know, <laughs> Puppet is um, gonna have issues mid game. I think the lockdown, but. Lightning face, he should do very well against Kronos. The hold is so, so awesome. The puppet show and the puppeteer hold. Like yeah. Seven seconds lockdown. Interesting bottom. Look what's happening with the Madman Slither. <laughs> yeah. The lane's kind of in a different place. Than it's supposed yeah. To so they are. Okay, what is going on? Okay, okay, so Tort is dual middle with Kraken. I didn't see that for a second. Yeah, it's late to it. I don't, I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. 
uh, really not. But I do like past laning phase, past all that, I do like Sting's lineup. I just think their laning phase is kind of not optimal. Mm -hmm. Madman actually fares fairly well against Slither. Uh, as far as you know, most matchups against Yeah, I was gonna say, don't expect him to win it, but <laughs> maybe better than everyone else. Yeah, he, can just, he stalks around, he can just get CS and kind of dodge most of Slither's damage. Yeah. Um, I hope, uh, Madman, certainly, I hope he goes for a bottle, a quick bottle. He has so much cool regen, too. Look at, look at how many tangos and stuff. And he also skipped a shield, which is, uh, I think, actually a really good decision because that's just gonna give him a faster bottle. Yeah. Uh,. Ooh. Gets damage right there, but it keeps the stock up. So, uh, top lane, speaking of shield, Iron Shield picked up by Kronos, going against that Puppet Master. I assume Puppet's having a great time up here. 7 and 3, Kronos 6 and 1, so Kronos holding his own. Yeah, it's gonna, he's going to hold his own for like the first part, but once Puppet Master gets a few levels and KZ starts running out of regen, he's going to start having issues. Actually, looking at that though, Puppet Master's actually doing worse on regen currently. I guess uh, Kronos was pulled one additional set of tangos, possibly yeah. even two. So that does obviously play a factor. <laughs> okay, is he gonna pull right here? Okay, so impact. What was the rune? I, uh, there I mean, was no it's... bottom rune, it was actually destroyed already. Keeper sent the tree dog in. Uh, okay, I, I didn't yeah. see what it was, but... Yeah, yeah, I was, I was trying to wonder. Okay. It must have been something not so important. Yeah. No rune to be had. So... Bottles coming down on Madman, I think. Very, uh, very good speaking from them. Look at the core right now. There's two bottles on it. Uh, you know, obviously they spoke and said, "Okay, wait, 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 wait." Let me get my stuff on there first. So it's good. It's gonna go into Madman. He's gonna camp four minute rune. Uh, he, he, re he really can stay in lane this entire time. So they can't do much to him. He just has way too much fusion. Yeah. Oh, so that's putting in the auto attack. There's a poison spray now, Madman. Uh, uh, he doesn't have mana for a stock here. He is in trouble. How he's much actually is it? 60 mana. Yeah, he's not going to have it. The bottle's coming right here. Auto attack, uh, not enough for the kill, though. Jeez. He's going to eat you a know, tree. Um, he should be fine, right? Oh, my God. To the toxicity. The toxicity. Oh, that was close. He's good. To most people, it looked like Flynn's Master should have dove and went for an auction auto attack, but he, I think that was a very good decision. He yeah. knew how good of a you know, player Jonas is, and he knew that he could probably juke him, uh, <laughs> fog him yeah. long enough. Anyway, so, yeah, he's got... He, I gotta say, man, Madman started with nine tangos and a health pot. He already had to pull himself a health pot. He, he got his bottle. I mean, he's gone through so much regen. It's, it's just absurd how, how good Slither does with that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Slither's gone through one Blightstone. <laughs> <laughs> Two now. Yeah. Top lane, Keiju's doing much, 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 much better than I expected. I don't think he should be doing this well, to be completely honest. 18 and 2 right here. Uh, Look at oh. Puppet Master. He's out of regen completely. Keiju has a lot still. Puppet Master cannot lane. How is that possible? That is crazy. I, I'm, yeah. I'm not okay. So it looks like he went two mark in the novices. That means that I think he I think he went too greedy on his build. I think he should have went a little more region. Uh, except for the fact that Casey's pretty confident with the suicide and off from there. Oh man, this makes a rewind and he got the iron shield right away too. So yeah, yep. mitigated yeah, he, he, he was pulled regen right. So uh, that is something to note certainly. Yeah. But yeah, doing a great job, and that, that, that's obviously huge for Sync. Yep. So, 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 so successful, especially compared to Madman, as we keep going back to. Not as good. Of course. Yep. Yeah. How about the middle? Man. Don't talk about the middle yet. Kraken, okay. Rally's 27 and 7, Kraken 22 and 1, so. Pretty, pretty even. Limps, I mean, Limps see us in very well. Bo both heroes are not really denying. There's kind of a. Just gonna see us. You know, again though, as long as Sync makes this out of landing phase, I think they oh. really, ha really uh, have the better lineup. Yeah. Bottom lane, and they're trying to set up a gank right here. Wall comes out on his slither. Madman applying the auto attacks. You see the stun coming out from the Essence Lake right there. Madman stalking in, but Nature's Veil comes out. Gonna help keep him alive in the end. Uh, good movement from Keeper of the Forest. I'm not sure where he was at the start of that, but that was well played. Mm -hmm. Keeper, so let's see Slither's skill build. What is he looking? He's not getting his wards, uh, which I think is fine. If, you know, you can lane much better, but it is getting the wards is a possibility with these push lineups. Yeah. Yeah, mid, mid's kind of uh, funny. It's just both heroes are just kind of farming well. Not too much pressure. Both heroes are very difficult to kill. I don't think they understand that. Oh, Kraken Tempest. wants to kill. No. No way. Uh, get used to the minions blocking off that that route. Yeah. 
Makes it tough, but there's Fracking. still a fight here. You're in trouble, though. No. <laughs> kind of. Really. Chrono, Chrono, what is Chronos doing? I mean, you know, like, I, good, he's helping his team. Mate, but meanwhile, Puppet Master is free from top. Yeah, he's really getting back in the game now. Puppet Master has his ultimate, and you, you can see, how, or you've seen how much work that does. I gotta go mid. Ooh, no, no! compel just in time. I was, I was expecting a Chronosphere to come out and be too late, but no, he held it at least. Yeah, I was. Yeah, good decision not to Chronosphere. I don't think it would have been enough. So, but yeah, as you said, he spent a lot of time mid right there. Didn't ulti, but in the meantime, Puppet Master is more and more sitting up here, yeah. no threat. Exactly, exactly, and then KZ was getting nothing. Uh, he did come back when, when the lane was pushed, though, so he is getting a decent amount of what he, what he otherwise would have lost. Yeah. Man, uh, bottom so four. Yeah, you know, I know, I know it's Slither versus, I know it's Slither, <laughs> but I do feel like Madman should have done a little better. I'm on, it's Jonas, so I have a hard time, like, doubting him. I really do. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I, I, mean. I, I, I I gotta believe that he played it. He played it how it should have been played. But I just, I don't know. For some reason, I thought he should have been a little, little better. Yeah. Anyways, okay. KZ counter warding top lane. Yeah, yeah. He must have seen that in place because that's a pretty wow. Yeah. Interesting spot. Either seen, either he literally saw it placed, or he he's done his studying. I'm not sure which. You've seen that ward a couple times. Yeah, I don't recall exactly if it's been BMG or not, but perhaps. There's That's there's so funny. many weird areas where you can place that lane ward. Like even like on, I can't signal, but even like in the very very left corner. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Way yeah. Over here, over here. I mean, like why would you ever kind of ward there? You know, it just <laughs> really makes it difficult for uh -huh. sports. Like I said, unless you see them do it, it's like probably exactly. not gonna be kind of ward. Um, what do you think about the toy? I can't. I, I feel like I keep asking this, and it's the same thing. But I don't know. Puppet Master's I guess first item assassin trout is kind of the new thing. It's just that's the way to go now. I I agree with that, a hundred percent. This game. They, I think they see Sync's lineup and are like, okay, first of all, they're putting them on the pressure mid-game with their push. Second of all, I don't think we can take this late game. Look at their heroes. Look at their lockdown. Yeah. So he wants to be, he wants to be effective now. Not, not 10 minutes from now, but now. Uh, and I agree with that. It's that 100%. mix, though. It, you know, we, we see it. We talk about it. You know, kind of like the portal key on Pebbles. It's like, that's good that you have that. And it, it's kind of different, though. South Australia can be effective for farming, too. But the idea is that you want to start setting up kills with it. So, again, he's going for it. We'll see what kind of pace happens. Yeah, after that. but it's not like a portal key, though. It's really not. It sure. still is a farming tool. It still gives damage. It's not. It's defensive, too. Like, you can live. Uh, you know, you can dodge yeah. ganks from it. And also, the, another thing to note is they have a Tempest farm in the jungle. So he doesn't have all those triple stacks like he normally would in a 2 2 1 setup. True. Maybe another reason for Tempest. That, yeah. Speaking of that, though, Tempest is farming very well. Yeah, I know. I know you. I know you used to seeing those high GPM guns. And, okay, is oh, no, I thought initiative yeah. was gonna happen. Yeah, top, me but, too. Yeah. That was farming. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tempest has been nerfed a lot. Uh, where I think 300 GPM plus and laning phase is good. That's great. Yeah, no harassment really, and obviously didn't really do much gank presence. But yeah, the farm is showing. They're gonna push the top lane. That's gonna be a free tower kill. Now middle is being countered. Double damage crack in, but it's only a half life currently, so. They're probably gonna keep this going, I would think. Yup, and uh, you know, as expected, um, Legion's just counter pushing. There's no real defense on either side, at least not till later with, with the big ultimates. So they're just counter pushing. Possible setup on bottom. Rally is bottom. Flensmaster is playing very safe, though. He, I think he's gonna go try to push it. If he does, he might be in trouble. Yeah. He is playing very safe. No, falls back. So two top towers are going down top. It looks like Legion will try to or Sink oh, will try to put mass TP top lane. Yeah, they're going for it. Empath is going to be caught out. He's going to go for the TP. Can he actually get away from this? No, it's not going to happen. He does fall in the so, end. So bloodless kill. Bloodless kill. <laughs> that is, isn't it? it? Yep. Wow. That I mean, kind of caught know, me off guard. You might argue that was actually not even worth it. Uh, if not for the bloodlust, though, yeah, there's a lot of health forces for one support. Oh, uh, Tempest! Uh, in the meantime, getting cut off though. He has elemental foil, but he wouldn't dare use it here, would he? No. It was maybe no. a chance, but he had really only a puppet kind of nearby, so that would have been silly. I'm gonna be, be honest here, Bricky. I think BMG's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I know, like, just because of the lineup. Uh, Sync's lineup is so just massive in team fight. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll have to see how it plays out. Tempest could have a huge factor if he gets a really nice ultimate off, but it's going to be tough. Who's just going to have a really hard time? Here comes that push, too. I mean, obviously, BMG showing a bit of their push, especially with Tempest coming in there, but now here comes Keeper and the rest of the team. Again. Yeah, their, their team fight is just so deadly with that yep. lockdown and everything. It's like, can you fight this if you're BMG? I don't think so, but... Okay, so Sync is grouping up top. I would not fight this. Don't, don't fight this. I would... 
They can see Puppet. Oh, I was going to say, what is he doing? They can see him. Okay, he's going to bait out right there with the Compel, so he's going to be fine. Maybe that was the idea all along, but yeah, still. Yeah, Karma's ulti is down. That's yeah, a big deal. That is. Here we go. In comes Mammon right here. Keep the force. He has us for He's being patient with it. He's being locked down here. Finally going to re catch them just on the tail end. The elemental oh, boy, though, comes down. It's going to be a big one right here. In comes those seismic slam. There's one. There's two down. Tempest will fall by now. Rally. He's going to take some good damage. Puppet Master is putting an auto attacks during all this. He is still full life. Good to go. And the Legion oh. team is going to start retreating right here. Well, maybe not. Kronos, he's uncertain, actually. I got to say. I think it's over. Okay, yeah, no Chrono Spear. I mean, he has wasted right away. No crack in ultimate. He knows it's still, still the fight still broke even. Possibly Keeper might get picked off here. That would be a really big deal. Like, yep, nice. there you go. Puppet show. Nature's Veil, doesn't matter. Oh, man. <laughs> Games, you really needed that. On. Yeah. You see Slither's going to go for some Catacombs. Oh, oh. oh, he got the bash! <laughs> oh! That's huge. Yeah, he had the one charge left, so. That's a yeah. big finish, because that was definitely BMG right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, good idea from Fuzi actually teleporting out. I think he really needs to in that situation, but it just didn't pay off. Uh, KZ, good presence of mind to come back. Yeah. But I think that just shows how powerful Sync's lineup is right now. They didn't have two, two of their biggest ultis, and it just really didn't matter all too much. And now here goes that tower push. That was going to happen in this eventually. So. I was initially, initially going to say I don't think BMG should be defending that, uh, even though they kind of have to. I think they, but I think they should be split pushing. They do have pushing of their own. Uh, just, just dodge. I, it's just such a hard decision. I mean, yeah, I, I would say dodge it, but then like you're dodging a, something that has late game on you, basically. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's. I don't really know. Like, I, I feel like Sync's lineup is just actually just much better. It, yeah, a lot of it just comes back to the yeah, the 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 outdraft. You could definitely argue here, but again, they, at the same time, there's definitely still game to be played by all means. And 13 minutes in now, and even the way the fight ended, it's. Still got Puppet Master. He's going to be finishing that Assassin's Trial coming up, but you got to figure out that, yeah, this tower definitely now is going to fall right here. Yeah, he's going to have a hard time this game. Uh, Slither did really well bottom, 400 GPM. I know, as expected, but that's where you want to see your Slither at. As far as other heroes go around Puppet Master, I mean, Rally is 220 GPM. Does he have a portal key? No, he went a lot of build up, though. Did limp here, so. Yeah, they're all really just building up, uh, knowing that. You know, the, this, these tower pushes are going to happen. So, Tempest. Oh, man, what item would you want to see on Tempest? Do you want to see that? Uh, the yellow portal. You know, normally, normally it would be Astrolabe, I think. I think Astrolabe is actually pretty needed. But next, I, I would get Portal Key into Shrunken Head, and I think you kind of need to. Yeah, that, that's why. That's I, I don't even know if you go Astrolabe, man. I mean, <laughs> it's like yeah. this just feels like one of those games. It's like we just needed Olin big, big ulti to come together and... <laughs> Big fight, but yeah. But on the other end, it's gonna be really hard to get that big ulti. Look at their heroes. Yeah, and actually, oh, he goes for a stun, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Chronosphere. Tempest looked like he was like ulting there, but he I, I like, thought it was for a second. But then I looked at the cooldown, I was like, no, it wasn't yeah. an ulti. <laughs> that was oh just man, a stun. this is, this is kind of falling apart. It's, it's not good. Yeah. Jumps the fan stock in a way, so he should be fine, but. Obviously, more trouble as they, they. This is another strength of Sync Esports. They don't all five need to be here. Every single hero brings some really strong ultimate elements on maybe torture, but yeah, like just having two of them there is good. It, it, exactly. Yeah. You're uh, dead. Look at the armor. Time, okay, he did yeah. die. But just look how substantial. <laughs> the support armor torture is. that tank. Yeah, keep it the force. He's yeah. getting caught though. He has his root. He tried to use it at the last second. It looked like even. Maybe that was just nature's fail. But anyways, he does fall and. All right. I mean, BMG gets a couple of big yeah. picks. I mean, good pickoffs. Uh, I mean, I think a little bit of an oversight from Sync because they have to remember that being BMG does have a lot of jump. And they do get bot tower for that nice ultimate. Yeah, all about to avoid is the damage follow up. Of course, well, Compel comes out. No seismic slam, though. But here comes the barrel. Gets the one kill. Poison burst going to be used though by Slither. He's tanking up that damage. Look at how tanky he actually is. Wow. Finally falls. I don't think there's going to be any kills from Poison. Mm, Rally, oh, it's man. close. Nope. Pretty close, though. Uh, <laughs> good, yeah. Uh, um, jeez. Okay, so I still think Sing's in a very good position, but these pickoffs just yeah. uh, don't 100% need to happen. But the BMG does a very good job at just knowing the power of their heroes and you know taking these fights like initially two v three or whatever, but then having their teammates run in. Uh, so very well played by BMG right now, uh, but they they have an uphill battle I think with the, with the whole draft. <laughs> I mean, Puppet Master all of a sudden sitting on 2,200 gold, so... Okay. He's yeah. gonna finish Assassin's Trail, I assume. 
Yeah, so hopefully he can get that assassin shroud, possibly kind of run around the uh, rally, uh, limp on rally, and get some pickoffs. Okay, he sells the mark of the novices. He actually despises a whispering helm as well. So, all of a sudden, uh, no, he okay, he sold the. That's what it was. So he has the okay, helm was, of the victim. <laughs> I was gonna say, why yeah. would you not finish the shroud? That would not make any sense. Yeah, at all. so he finishes the shroud. He buys the helm of the victim, but he is gonna be going for whispering helm not next. I don't know why people. Okay, I guess the armor is pretty good. Uh, I do like the life still though. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit underrated. Just the hungry spirit itself, but yeah, that doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, armor is always good too, and just the regen obviously helps. So yeah, as we see, uh, so they're getting the sacrificial stone. Very good item pickup, especially against Hellborn's team lineup. They're gonna be stacking so much armor this game. It's just gonna be absurd. Uh, I think Puppet Master will literally need to get Harkons uh, relatively soon in this game. Mm -hmm. To be, to be honest, otherwise he's just not gonna do any damage. That's I, I know, okay, okay, so okay, I know Whispering Helm is just so incredibly standard on Puppet Master, but could you see an argument for not getting it this game? I feel like if you get locked down, you're kind of done, so anyways. Yeah, but what do you again? The, the shrunken head is like it's good, but you still have the Chronosphere. You still have a release the Kraken. I no, I know. I mean, by like going like damage, like more so just damage. Just, I don't know. I mean, I know it's. And so it's like, do, do you just go the usual still, or do you completely straight away go something radical that still might not even work out at all? So, yeah, it's it, exactly it's it's tough. up in the air. It is tough. I I, I could see uh, I guess an argument for skipping that whispering him helm altogether w with the idea that you want to go Harkons later because I think that is a must. True. And, and the whispering helm and Harkons don't work together, so that's just my argument. But that's fair. Um, oh, What's Kraken! He actually charged the tower right there. That was a little misclick by Mickey. I don't know if he meant to port a key first or something, but... So Sync was already pressuring the main base. Looks like they're backing up. Madman is split pushing bottom, as he always does. Uh, very very intelligent of him. Kronos might get a pick off. Chronosphere, Chronosphere, no. randomly? No, nope. nope. <laughs> Would have been risky even with that said. They had Keeper follow up with the ultimate, but if those... <laughs> you know, if those uh, didn't get the kill, that would have been a lot huge opening for DMG. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have dust either, so... Well, tortured it, but not there. Okay, so Tempest is... You got the refreshing ornament. I gotta believe that he's going for actual... Actually, wait. He's probably going for um, Astrolabe now, but he may get an idol later. They may just be going for that sustainability to keep Puppet Master up past the initial initiation. Cause, because one thing to note, okay, so one thing to note about Sync's lineup, yes, their team fight is just absolutely amazing, but if they use their ultimates, and BMG still up, BMG will probably win the team fight. Sync is very reliant on their ultis. Yeah, that's true. Top so lane. Kinda, you know. But yeah, get, get those to be baited and used somehow. Yeah, without being too devastating, obviously. Just, just do that, and you're good to go. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, he is going to go Astrolabe on, on Tempest, uh, especially after what happened in that fight. Actually, middle lane. Oh, we do get the tower kill, but Jonathan might come at a cost right here. He sees Torture low, wants to maybe finish him off, but obviously that backfires. So, the Legion team kind of responds, gets killed. But actually, top lane also pushed in. So, really, the big picture BMG doing mm -hmm. a lot of work there. And also, they forced teleports back from bottom lane, which uh, originally would have been a tower for and Sync. Speaking of bottom lane, Keeper the Force also gets caught initially by Limp. The Seismic Slam comes out, and down goes Keeper. Yeah, BMG definitely winning out of all those exchanges there. Yeah, that wasn't very smart for Slap to stay around there. Uh, I don't think he was really thinking at that exact moment. Because they have, they have so much initiation on BMG's side, and you know you know they're going to have dust and stuff, yeah. being the team that they are. Anyways, look, look how many counter wards there are from from Steel Kid in their jungle. Just a <laughs> yeah. massive amount. Uh, I think that's I think I think that's partially counter wards and partially just like okay if you're running around invis with uh, you know with keeper invis we got gotcha. you <laughs> yeah you're so, not gonna uh, be sneaky on us yeah oh Kronos he's trying to maybe catch empath he actually kills the archer that was taken over with the whispering helm uh, yeah. at the ancients and he's gonna run away nope maybe not walls there so empath doing a lot of this distracting you now puppet master nearby but Kronos okay yeah, he's gonna time leap away and that'll be the end of that really small kind of off topic thing What's I do up? like. I do like uh, taking control of the archers and stuff because, one, you're not like taking away much from your gold. Cause, you know, like if you take away a vagabond, well, that's a hundred gold that you kind of you know took away from yourself essentially. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, there's a, it's range and it has a really good attack animation. So, a little small thing, but I, I, I like that idea uh, for second ancients. Anyways, it doesn't really matter too much, especially since, since it's dead now. 
see. Uh... So, so yeah, te it looks like Tempest went Mystic Vestments. Probably gonna build that into an idol, I think. Yeah. Hey. So I, 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 I at the place. I mean, I've definitely calmed down. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think he needs, he needs to rush the portal key anymore, especially after what happened uh, in the fights. But that yeah, over no. portal key still makes sense to you. It does. Oh, it definitely does, actually. The M or sync has so much to stop a port, uh, Tempest Ultimate. Yeah. So yeah, BMG is definitely coming back into this game. Kind of unexpected, to be honest, uh, for me at least. <laughs> Just to clarify, there's a little bit of trolling going on in chat, and uh, honestly, I have to absolutely double check myself. And I thought I was sure. Kronos says Bash. It's no longer RNG. It hasn't been for a long time. It is cooled out, or it's charged base. So. Yeah, did you not know that? No, I, I knew that. It's just chat's kind of oh. trolling in one another, and I want to just clarify oh, okay. that. That's the case, guys. So it, was, it wasn't it was a lucky bash earlier on Puppet Master a yeah, while ago. Yeah. It was a, you know, he had the one charge left, so he used it. And speaking of that, actually, he's going to chase down Tempest right here, putting in the auto attacks. Chronosphere is up. Tempest can't do anything about that, obviously, and he's going to end up falling here. After late peel, it just doesn't matter. So pushing in, but does cost him his life at least. Good response from the Legion team there. We saw, we see Torture getting his ultimate actually before even maxing his other spells. And we saw how much damage he did there. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah, that is, yeah. I've, I've always, yeah, I've always tended to, tend to skip that to be honest, but. Especially as a, a support, it's usually, yeah. you know, not really considered the best because you have to have done the most mana, but. Exactly. Yeah, he's. It is some good damage. You get the full mana pool for it. Um, what did I just see? Oh, yeah, Staff of the Master, by the way, on Slither. So. The wombo combo. What are the effects of that again? If so it can kill you, right? It's lethal. It's lethal and, and it lethal. does more damage now as well. Does more damage. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thirteen hundred so, magic damage over twelve seconds. That's ridiculous. That is Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. That's just It's not burst, that's... obviously, but it adds up, man. Yeah, I think Staff of the Master makes a lot of sense in that hero. So Puppet Master is going strong ahead. I think it's needed. He's not really gonna have the damage yet, though, and I still think he needs that Harkons. He really, really need. He really does. Sink is stacking that physical armor, and they have the Keeper as well. Okay, Madman Bottom's caught out. There's an eye on Torture. Yeah. Oh, it just hits. He popped the Energizer, but couldn't get away in time. Good catch by support right there. I wonder if they're gonna uh, really, make a move. Yeah. Yeah, I really love the eye pickup. I'm not sure if they're gonna try Congor, but they're definitely gonna, gonna get map control with this. I is down for another minute though, so they, they can't really venture into the enemy's jungle and counter ward that yet. So yeah, they're looking to Congor. They will get this slither probably. Yeah. Just likely pick it up. Looking at Kraken, 400 GPM. He is uh he's he's up there. He's definitely a semi carry at this point. Shrunken head to be had on him soon enough. Yep. Yeah. So what, what would you want to see next on Puppet Master? I'm, I'm kind of torn. <laughs> so I think he needs to damage Hellflower, possibly into a Harkons or something like that. He needs yeah, mana. I don't know. It's, I, I think the Hellflower, yeah, that's that's just a, a solid follow up, of course. Just trying to just for the more damage output. You don't want to go yeah. zero by any means, but um, if you can, yeah, if you can pop someone with the Hellflower before they initiate, yeah. make make for big plays. I. I want to see some tablets on BMP's side, so you can possibly you can tablet uh, Puppet Master out of the Kraken Ultimate, tablet him out of the Chrono Spear, just get him out of those sticky situations. True. Because if you don't have that, he's just going to be a sitting duck. Yeah, they do have Compel, obviously, but yeah, the more the better. <laughs> True, Compel is a big deal. Uh, one thing to note, Keeper's Root does make it so you can't tablet or Compel. So uh, it's a soft counter to Rally, I would say. Yeah. What's this? Okay, yeah, those are just illusions. I'm sure Limp was aware of that, but still wants to take them out before they can scout out any information. Shrunken Head is going to be finished here on Jonas Fan very shortly, so they're going to hit a very slow start, but as usual, recovering nicely. 323 gold per minute now. He has certainly uh, came back definitely up there in the GPM. I just don't know how big of an impact he's going to have. He's going strong ahead first, which I can't disagree with because of all the magic damage. But again, the damage is going to be an issue. I think uh, maybe BMG can prove me wrong. They have in the past for sure with their with their incredible skill. 
but I almost want to say, you know, speaking about Puppet Master, could you even argue like a Geometer's Bane? Just to have just another escape, even? Uh, fr from the from the root? From the root, or just like a, a eventual double root, which I guess isn't really coming, but also the uh, poisons, I mean, just another out. <laughs> I, I you know, I could argue it like later, but like, not right now. I think he needs to get something to do some damage after his shrunken head. Huh. He's, he's, I do, I do, I do think it's uh, possible. I don't pick up. You see, Resto Stone actually speaking of that just got by Keizu on him, uh, so. Gosh. Or he purchased a pattern at least. I assume he has it. Uh, yes, it's on the carrier. Yep. Resto Stone pretty is really crazy. The fact that it also does give you a pretty substantial amount of damage. It's just kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, that that's the thing too. Exactly. It's like it's not just a, a 5200 gold item. That's like okay, I got to use my skills a second time. I mean, that's great and all, but. There's a lot more to it. Top one in the meantime, though, Kraken, he's being locked down. He finally gets the Shrek it off. The initial damage, though, doing a lot, Kraken. He knows it. he stutter steps. He's going to be fine. He's it's going for turn, a turn, even. Yeah, because Kronos is coming in. There's a Kronos Fear. The Torrent is out. Puppet Master knew that he's in trouble. He's going to try to get away. Sides to try. No, he can't get it off. Chain reactions hit, and down goes Puppet Master. So I was kind of wondering what Miku was almost doing there, but he was clearly uh, waiting for the turnaround. Look at that confidence from Sync, from Mickey and. Uh, specifically, Mickey. Yeah. He didn't even ultimate as Kraken. He knew he knew they had the damage. Why waste it? Your big ulti. True. And they have a second set of ultimates here, or ultimate from Kronos. Yep. So it looks like I'll possibly run through Hellborn's force and take all that all those resources. If I were BMG, I would definitely start split pushing hard right now. I, I think they will be pushing middle. They do need TPs. So some of them just grab that. Master is only down for 20, so. This is not going to be a huge deal. They're going to get one tower, obviously, and that's going to be about it. Yeah. But we see the power of just of Sync's lineup right now. That was just one Chrono Spear. Remember that. That's, that's all it was. <laughs> one Chrono Spear. Spear and, yeah. I would feel uh, just for a simple pick up, but still. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I wasn't team fight or anything, but still. Okay, now Puppet's going to res here. Now he can buy the Shrunken Head, but that would put him out of buyback range. He does go okay, for so it. I, so Sync is. Okay, so Sync still has uh, Aegis or Token of Life. Token, yep. Slither. He's up. Okay. Never mind. He's going to be fine. How much longer? Just under a minute here. So, the, yeah, they're definitely pushing, and they're at least forcing back BMGs to stop him from split pushing. Yeah. And that's their primary goal. I, I want to see if they're going to keep on going now that they know that they're all five back. Token is down in 45 seconds, so can't don't have that to use much longer. Even with that said, though, they still are a strong team fight even without those without the token. Um, you see, crack and there we go. He charges uh -oh. in on a puppet master. He's able to get the shrunken head off. Though here comes the Chronosphere. The big Chronosphere in the background. They release the crack and pulls out puppet master, so they can damage him as well. And he is going to be able to score it away. But actually, the second Chronosphere comes out. The root in the background. Man, man, he's uh -oh. being locked down. He's going to try to run away here, but. Very little damage coming out. No damage from Puppet Master <laughs> as he was locked down the That's whole time. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. How? What? What can they do about that? Yeah. He's gonna die. with five seconds left. Oh, jeez. Now they have an elemental void still. We'll see. Maybe about a chance. There's the ultimate from Puppet Master. Slither's gonna drop. Slither does get out of the elemental void. It catches Torture as well on the on the end of it. And actually, Kronos almost runs into it, but he's going to be fine. Down goes Torture, and now Kronos is going to try to get away. So, BMG, they are making a hold right here. Ultimates are down, and this is where Sync is not ready to fight. Now, Kraken going to go for the escape. Oh, he is able to dodge the compel, but there's still more coming, and he doesn't have much escape left. Yeah, he's going to fall right here in the end. So, I, yeah, that was bad initially, but Puppet did live. Yeah. And that well, was the biggest thing. Going off the fact, he did barely live. I, I would argue that Sync stayed around when they should have just... Well, actually, no, you know what? They has, Anyways, um, Sync used all the ultimates, right? Yeah. And after that, there's kind of like, what do they have? So, yeah, initially they're just so, just a powerhouse, those ultimates, but we did see there, that is BMG's shining hope. Bait those ultimates out and work from there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised, again, a little bit that BMG, even after all those ultimates coming out, as you said, Really, almost a bait coming. And now, there was a situation with the co first Chronosphere. It, it was a very good one. Caught multiple heroes, including Puppet Master, initially. But he got pulled out of it, actually, by the release yeah. of the Kraken that was on the outskirts. And I almost want to say, like, initially, I thought that might have been good because it allowed the melee heroes to, like, Kraken to beat on him still. But that, uh, that might have backfired at the same time. Now, Chronos to the bottom lane. Rewind, rocking a little bit right here. Seismic oh. Slam comes out, though. And you ain't going to be rewinding that. 
yeah, talking about what you were just saying, I think Kraken could definitely use his ultimate later and really stack that disable time yeah. uh, more effectively. I mean, think about it, they, they can have like 20 seconds disable time with all their ultimates. Uh, Puppet Master should not be living, to be honest. But yeah, BMD yeah. did play that very well. Puppet Master barely lived, and that was, that was made for the turnaround. Mm -hmm. Puppet Master now Still, another 2,700 no. gold saved up. So we're going to kind of get that answer here soon of what he decides to go for next. Mm -hmm. Rally did go that tablet he had last fight, but that's a really good pickup against yeah. Legion Stain. I don't know. I'm almost at a point too now. The thing I about the more I think about it, with the way this game's going, if you're Tempest. I don't even know if you go Portal Key anymore. Maybe you just go Tablet as well. It's yeah, you could. Versatile uh, item. You know, it's also an option. Storm Spirit. True. Oh, Puppet Master. They're gonna find Keeper here now. There is actually a Slither nearby. Oh, well. <laughs> look at the damage though. Keeper of the Forest melts. Wow, Slither has to pick run. off left and, left and right. Just pick off, pick off, pick off. It also makes it so Sync can't push for another minute. They can't keep up the pressure. And while I think Sync has these amazing team fights, looking at late, late, late game, I think Puppet Master can probably live and then make the turnaround. Yeah, once he has. Oh, look at this again! He doesn't have ulti though. I don't know about Slither. It's once he got all these other heroes, but he does have he does have Empath in him. Whiplash! Oh, whip, oh, oh my God! <laughs> why, and he's gonna why shuck it. Questioning. That was just I don't. I don't. Yeah, with Empath inside, especially that was. Yeah. Easily. Look at that. Okay. He's going for symbol. Yeah. Right away, uh, symbol. You I do see the argument for that for sure. Kraken charges away. It's another pick. What is going on? I mean, PMG's just picking uh, them off. Uh, Four heroes have been picked off in the last minute. I'm not really seeing how BMG's making these happen. I mean, they have a lot of initiation with initiation with portal keys. But is it just because Sync's vision is possibly not where it should be? I mean, just constantly. Middle again. Is Tort? Uh, nope. He almost died, but he's able to get tabulated there in time. They do get the tower, and Madman's becoming that hard carry too. Yeah, that's that's exactly they, true. Wow. Which is so important because, yeah, Sync's lineup is so good at locking down that one hero, but if there's two of them, eh, not so much. So much. It's it's amazing how the yeah the tides have just completely turned here. For uh, it's felt like Sync was just ahead, like really most of this game earlier on. And again, their team fight presence and everything was coming together. Yep. Yep. BMG's done I, just enough, and now they have a very comfortable spot themselves. I really want to say there's some outplay going on. Yeah. Not not like mechanically necessarily, but kind of just like uh, map map movement. Oh Some yeah, really good aggression going on from BMG. They're getting a lot, lot of I feel like unnecessary pickoffs. I kind of wonder, Madman. I mean, he has enough for like a brutalizer if you want to go for that here. We'll see what route he does go in the end. This is four thousand gold. No, nope, nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know. Brutalizer is always going to Madman just because of the inherent attack speed. But okay, yeah, I like, I like this item. Geo's vein like, eventually. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but anyways, I don't like the Basher as much. Or brutalizer as much in this game because there's no like here on Legion team that you just really need to lock down. Mm -hmm. You know, like a puppet master, up. like yeah, you can brutalizer owns him. But yeah. anyways, Sync is still okay. So Sync's trying to get some some words. So these pickups stop happening. BMG just has vision everywhere. No, like, look I, at this. yeah, there's you just look at the map and between the slither wards and just wards in general. Yeah, there's a lot. Sing's got some decent vision. Aggressive is another just placed here in the middle in the observatory over here. Still on the hell one side, but um, I was gonna say. So I want to touch on uh, again the the, the uh, similar range that Puppet Master is getting. Now, one of the most iconic games that we've seen a Puppet Master hark on was Era for Fnatic. It was a while ago, obviously, but he did have that combination of a similar rage and a hark on play. You could definitely yeah, justify it. Still, is my point. It's, it's, it's not totally optimal, but you can still pop the symbol of rage. And you get the lifesteal effect while you also get the Harkons effect. Yeah. So yeah. And there's you know there's obviously stats that go along with it. It's I. I can still definitely see him going Harkons with you know symbol of rage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just I'm just looking at the armor over here on the Legion side. It's like anywhere between like 20 and 30 armor on it. I know, I know, and it's just ridiculous. Like you, I, I feel like he needs it at this point. I think you you kind of agree, right? Yeah. I, I feel like it really would help. Just tons. We'll see. I mean, see. he's going to have that symbol here very shortly, obviously. 
So yeah, Madman's working on geometers. You know, kind of unorthodox pickup for Madman, but against Keeper, I don't think a geometers is ever a bad pickup. Sync is going to be looking at Congor, but look at top lane. Yeah. And I think BMG has a pretty good idea of this. If they, maybe they don't have a hundred percent idea. Otherwise, they keep on pressuring here. But uh, if they do find out that they're Congor, and they're just going to pressure and <laughs> freaking Sync's going to have to back up or let them have racks. That's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, they don't have information, really, so... Yeah, yeah, they're not... They don't. Not 100% sure in how low he is and everything, so... You can t you can tell they have a hunch, though. Yeah. Otherwise, that would not be there. They're going for it. There's your vulnerability. No one's there, so yeah, they probably are 100% sure now. I mean, that's a case of, like... Really, well, yeah, you can't really go too aggressive. So this is going to be a conquer kill. They can't really push it in. Rally yeah, was sitting back the whole time. They didn't get too much out of it, but look at the golden experience right now. Man. Yeah. It is. Really swung in the BMG's favor. I still do. Sing still has a massive team fight team. Don't get me wrong, but Open Master is hitting that point where he's, he's a tanky mess. It'll let. Oh, oh they're going to the base. Kronos gets caught inside the sandbox. Guess what? Rewind. Op. In comes the ultimate from oh, the back. And the rewinds. The rewinds are ridiculous on Kronos. In comes the Kronos spear. And Rally's now in trouble with Puppet Master Solution just pounding in. He gets the struggle out. No, he doesn't even. Tap goes Puppet. Rally's gonna fall. That has to be so frustrating. Okay, to be fair, what? Why? Why, why are they happened? diving in the base that deep? That's crazy. You know he yeah. does that rewind. He's tanky. That's true. Yeah, he rewinded like crazy, but he could have rewinded half of those and still lived. I think. I 100% agree. Yeah, that, that that's definitely a case of. You know that there is a chance of that happening. Why are you diving almost to the sacrificial shrine or the world tree in that case? I was when, so young. In a game like this, yeah, that that was a <laughs> very ballsy move. That does not that pay is, off. That is EMG for you. Yeah. And you know, I, you got to salute them. Like they did, they just went for it. I mean, that's teamwork. They did. I would call it a bad decision, but they went for it. What did Cron or what did uh, Tempest just buy? Oh, Tempest just bought a full shrunken. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue against that. Seeing the team and all, the Slither ultimate is just massive at this point. Slither has... It seems like so, like, Chronosphere, Keeper Root. It's like Kraken ultimate. Oh, <laughs> uh, we do exactly. see Empath right here. It's going to get caught in the background as the Sheep Stick comes out from Slither, but he's able to jump inside Tempest. Slither gonna has survive in the background. Madman, they want to make some plays right here. Port's coming in. Everyone is out. Legion team kind of resetting. They don't have all their ultimates. They do have a release cracking though. Tempest is oh. going to stop immediately. They get out of it anyways. There's the Chrono Spear coming in the background. And now Tempest is in a lot of trouble in the background. Also, Madman's combo. Puppet Master's not caught. He is putting an auto attacks right here. Seismic Slam has not been used yet by Rally. He canceled it initially. Puppet Master is going to be able to finish off Torture. But Rally also goes out. No, the Stress in the last second to survive. But there's a Sheep Stick on a Puppet Master. He cannot get out of this. He does not have any cooldowns left. Left, and he will be dead at the end of that. Empath falling back into the base. Tempest not done yet with Mavad though. They want these kills. But Tempest ain't going to get it oh, either. This, so This is a catastrophe. You saw yep. what happened in Tempest and Kraken Ultimate. Also, Puppet Master, yeah, he was just auto attacking the entire time, not locked down, but it didn't matter. The armor was just so immense that it took him like 15 seconds to kill a tor torture. Just abs absolutely absurd. Absurd. Yeah. I They're trying <laughs> They're going to yeah, try here, obviously. They, they want to hold here, and they might be able to. I mean, Slither is going to go low, actually. Madman's going to go on him. And, oh, no, the Sheep Stick, though, comes out. Yes, he will get the kill the last second. The Legion team needs to retreat here. The Meteor is also doing pretty damage, it looks like, too. Kronos, he's kind of sitting they on that vision. top of that currently. Oh, Madman's dead. Yep. <laughs> he stuck around oh, a little too long. Man. They had no vision, too, so the Keeper got away with 100 HP. Oh. Uh, that was just, I mean, you know, Puppet Master is forced to get these tanky items to even live past the burst. And what does that mean? Oh, well, that means he has no damage. Here we go, another TP. Who is that? That's Mammoth. He buys back. Tempest coming in. He's ready to fly the stuns. Kraken is going to fall. Now, when it's all said and done, they do save the melee rack somehow. I mean, I mean Hanskin is yes. out of buybacks. A lot of buybacks were used overall. Look how many buybacks were used. Oh, my God. But they did uh, save the melee racks. They did save the melee racks. But now look at this. 40 seconds, Kronos has double Kronos fear. <laughs> like, you got to believe that Kronos, I mean, Keeper of the Forest may be looking at a, a refresher of his own at some point in the future. Why not? Slither's, Slither's turning into that, that carry. Actually, he's not even working towards carry, but he's just no. he's building items to completely lock down Puppet Master, which I completely agree with. Yeah. Good decision. He's going to get a Frostfield plate. Frostfield plate next. <coughs> Kraken's going to finish that demonic, I got to expect. Yeah. 
But did you did you see uh Puppet Master auto attacking Tort? Oh How yeah, yeah exactly. How long? You know, I was I was expecting him to move on because I thought he would die quickly, but yeah, he wasn't dying quickly. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> no. He stayed on him for a good like five six seconds at least. It felt like. Look at look at Tort's items. Basically, all he has is steam boots for the, for the HP. Yeah. He's just got all of his team buffs. Just crazy. I will say, again, granted, it's not like Pump Master, though, he, he does do good damage, but it's not like he went an yeah. outright all-damage build. I mean, he's actually a very defensive build here. No, you're 100% right, but still, look, I mean, 200 damage, I mean, he's, he's not doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, it really is the armor Yeah. When it comes down to it. So, again, <laughs> I, you know, okay, so that was pretty catastrophic. you got to say that these yeah. buybacks especially, man, uh, they are, and it still is a game. And you just think about where that started with. I mean, that was all because they dove Kronos. In the it really was. Space. You're 100 percent right. It forced them to buy back. I, I got I mean, I didn't see, see the timer, but I gotta say, like 20 seconds or something. Like, yeah. Forced them to buy back where they really didn't want to. <laughs> they are split pushing as they should be. They had, they had nice place, nicely placed ward by Shield Kid, seeing the possible rotation by Sync to to gank them. Mm -hmm. Which is not gonna happen though, because <laughs> instead they're going right to the middle lane once again. They know their ulties are up, obviously. <laughs> They yep. have double chronosphere. They have everything else on top of that. So the Hellborn team once again can can they still hang in there? I mean, a similar rage just purchased. So Chronos is going for a freaking savage. Yeah. Now. He's going that carry. Why not? I don't know. As you said, I mean, refresher or restoration zone still gives you plenty of damage output too. So exactly. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Him. All right. Got uh, kind of living life on the edge right here. Mad Man, he's kind of going in. Is that oh, barrel? Sheep, oh, sheep yeah. stick? Yeah, no. Oh, okay, oh, well, sheep stick down. That's oh, a tablet, even. Yeah, a good tablet. See, he does pick up a storm spirit. 100% agree with that, but I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make in the end. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's funny. Torture just. <laughs> he just stunned the trees so he could have vision of that ward. They got to know there's a ward there now. <laughs> yeah. I would expect. They do have an oh. eye, and then. There it's it goes. It's just out of oh. range, though. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> I don't see it. Hey. The, the rev war too. This is a big deal. <laughs> they don't spot it. It's a really, it really is. Oh, I think they might have saw it the last second. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah, now they see it. I was gonna say. No, they can't oh. get it though. <laughs> they need vision. <laughs> uh, what if they initiate? What if one stick initiates right here? now? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now they're playing. All right. Yeah, sync can basically slow play this with. Even the Slither Wars, I know it's freaking... Here we go, ridiculous. Rally goes in, Kronos, can they burst him down the center? No, get the down of the lead, he gets it off! No, but in comes a real one of the many ways to stop it, even with the shark, and Kronos goes down. down! He could not, Kronos for the whole time, Puppet Master in the background, he is still alive. Man, in the meantime, he's gonna stalk away, he is fine. Kronos buys back, by the way, look for that to get back into the fight. He has a long ways to go, though, Puppet Master, and Path inside, down goes Torture, Assassin's Shark going off, the charge, it misses! He is still alive, he is in trouble, though, as now he's gonna be gone on right here, he's got Soul Discount, Similar Rage, he'll heal right back up, here comes Mammoth back into the fight. The hold on to make your hair. Kraken's in trouble. Kraken's most likely going to end up falling. Kronos is still not here. He is coming, though. The Hellborn team, if they don't realize this, they're going to get screwed. Here comes Kronos. Oh, no. Guess what? Chronosphere going to be coming out. There's oh, the Chronosphere. No. And now Mammoth's in trouble as well as Puppet Master. Mammoth's going to fall. The second bubble preemptively right there. The lockdown's just too damn strong. And Puppet Master falls. A hat trick for Keizu. And now that here goes like the push. I went like as perfectly as planned that kind of thing. Yeah. But they literally killed Casey without him casting a spell, but it just didn't matter. The buyback was obviously huge, even even though he had to run freaking 50 miles. I guess Madman says he he ran from his base. <laughs> I mean, he had yeah. to run from his base. There was nowhere to TP I, to. And yet they still win that fight because of just how long it took them to kill the other heroes. Well, it's, it's kind of, exactly, it's kind of, it has to go with Puppet Master's items. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with them. Well, actually, I, I kind of do agree, but I kind of disagree. If you don't have the damage, how do you even make those plays to win? You yeah. know? But then again, you didn't need to be tanky. I mean, they're in a difficult position. Yeah. Well, again, another, it's, BMG's just barely doing enough now to be like, okay, we're not going to concede yet, but... We're still yeah, we're in yeah. a tough spot. <laughs> they're scraping by. Yeah, I, I, I really am surprised that honestly they're even still in it. But they are. <coughs> I mean, Puppet Master is dead. He's going to resurrect here, though. And you know, now he can work towards saving that Harkon's Blade. And if he does manage to get that, you've got a Brutalizer in the works, most likely, on Madman now. Yeah. Uh, look at the buyback situation, though. Oh, Kraken may be in trouble. He is tanky. 
Oh, it's dinky enough. Oh, no. man. That was a lot of damage. Damn it. Okay, so... If sand hits, it's a lot of damage. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of damage. <laughs> the, um, so the buyback situation is a big deal. As well as, that means that the gold the gold deficit is actually more than it oh, says. Oh, yeah. That's a lot more. So. Let's look at the aggressive play of BMG. Again, they know this, ultimates yeah. are di were down at least. Now they're not. <laughs> Five <laughs> seconds. Yeah, up almost up. You can just keep split pushing. Why not? You only need to defend, but oh, this geez. is so bad if they keep I know. Oh, they're, they're obviously in desperation, though. Yeah, oh. they're in that desperate. I, I, I hate to see that, because honestly, I think if they just sit back and get those next year items just in time, uh, maybe, uh, but... This is going to be so bad. Carlos is going to jump in. This is, you oh. just know it's going to be set up to be bad. Now, Tempest does have a portal key. I mean, if he gets the god hole of the century, then... Oh. There we go, Sheepstick, there we go, Kronos goes, he catches Rally as well! He can't do anything about it, Tempest in the background, Shrek in. there we go, the element of one, he got it, we need it too! He's gonna stop the reinforcements, but Puppet Master still dies! And that should do it, I mean, that's, you know, almost as good as it could have gone for BMG, and it's still... Yeah, well, I mean, Kronos has a lot of damage, he's just soloing down the Puppet Master with his ultimate. It's just ridiculous. You can be that, be that utility as well as the, the carry, essentially. Yeah. Um, and, and that's game. I mean, there's nothing more to say about it, I don't think. I really don't see them coming back from this. Well, might still just be talking about it now, if anything. Again, there's still a good series now ahead of us, especially with this result. Oh, Obviously, yeah. this uh, this will tie it up at one game apiece, and being the best out of five, that means we're at least going four, if not five games at this race. Okay, <laughs> not a shocker by any means. We knew that there probably wasn't going to be a quick 3 nothing series here. Man, I really, up to that. yeah, I really do love seeing Straff this game. Their lanes were a little bit off with the dual toward cracking middle, but they played it properly and they knew that their mid game, mid game team fight late game is just so insane. Yeah. So the big ass monkey goes down, and now you got uh, bananas on Kronos. Who got the token? So there, yeah. So they got the token. Now they're going just cutthroat here. They don't even have all their ultimates up, but. They don't feel like they need it, and probably for yeah. reason. Okay, there's an Arcana one. purchased on Fuzi, so it's one step there. Could be a minute. All right, well, I probably Harkons, I'm guessing. I mean, I think he needs that at this point. I think he's very aware of that. Yeah, that's probably the one thing, if anything. So that, That's right, I'm saying that, that fight, again, they've already been in a tough spot, but pushing that middle Le lane, man, it's like... Legion is a little bit split. They didn't. I mean, possible initiation here. They do take down Kronos without him you know, using spells. It's is an opening, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. It's such a t tough situation right now. <laughs> Frostfield played even. They have literally every single physical. Can they've only lost rider. one melee rack here. So again, I'm trying to think of these. At least there's some positives for BMG, but e yeah, but <laughs> it's a very yeah. deceiving positive. So we're gonna play the game of the waiting game here. Of who's gonna jump in? Wait, is Tempest Ultimate up? No, it still has 35 seconds actually, so. It's kind of funny how you. Okay, it looks like possible initiation. Both sides are pretty scary. Okay, Rally's just going. Rally's trying to wait. He goes right for Kronos, but he gets charged, and Kronos is like, yeah, you ain't doing that. Down it goes. The Rally in the back on there. It's Kronos Spirit coming out. They lock up Puppet Master. That's it. That's 100% it now. GG, well played, being called. Alright, game number two will officially go to Sync Esports, but man, oh man. What a crazy yeah. game that was, but. Yeah. They did come through. Uh, I mean, you know, Puppet Master is an insane hero, but if you have all of that counter or anti hard carry in the Keeper of the Forest, Kronos, and Kraken, mm -hmm. what can he really do? I kind of saw that from the drafting phase, and yeah. I think Sync really did that purposefully. I think they gave Puppet Master to them with the idea of yep. choosing all those heroes. So, well played, well picked, I think. Exactly. Yeah. 100% agree with you. And again, that's they know how that that mindset going. You do not give up one of those two heroes just thinking like, oh well, we'll just hope to deal with it. They definitely had a plan and they executed to say the least. So, Sink Esports deserving of the win once again. But <laughs> I really think again the ultimate point that I got from that game is that it felt like they could have done that even sooner. But uh, BMG was just somehow able to just barely hang in there long enough and make it a very interesting game going into the final parts. But obviously. They uh, sync takes it and thus tie number one. Anyways, enough rambling on. Rambling on. We still got more games to go games here. To go. We have a best of three coming up. Basically, a new Basically. best of three. Best of three. Yeah, yep. new best of three going to be coming at you. So whatever we want to look at it, but it's one to one now. 